Hi there. How are you? I'm out here in the old forest cave, as I like to call it. And uh, I have my campfire. I have the kettle on. Water is almost boiling. And uh, yeah, life is good. I'll have a cup of coffee. Um, and uh, I would like to talk about the contrasts between city life and life in a place like this. Now, I don't live in the forest, but <laughs> my house is next to the forest. So I walk out the door and I walk into the forest. And uh, I'm not used to big cities. I just came back home from uh, a book, book tour um, in the Netherlands and Germany. Big cities, lots of people. Um, I'm a novelist, if you didn't know, and um, sometimes as a novelist you, you, you travel and you, you talk about what you're doing as, you know, your books. <laughs> uh, now, I'm not used to big cities. And I got lost. <laughs> I got lost uh, in somewhere in the Netherlands. Trying, I was trying to find another, the other train. I was going. I got lost at the book fair. I got lost in Frankfurt. I got lost a, even on the train. I didn't know that was possible, but I did. Um, but first of all, my impression, my my first. My initial impression of the cities is that, and please don't be provoked by this if you live in a city and you're a man, but maybe you've seen this yourself. And it's probably, it, you're not one of those guys, okay? If you're watching this still. If you're still watching this, you're likely not one of those guys. Um, but here's the thing, it must be something Oh, water is boiling. Right when I was getting to the point here, and the water is boiling. I'll let it boil a little while. There must be something about city life that feminizes men. Because the way they were talking, the way they were moving, the way they were behaving, so many of those men were clearly, if not feminine, then not masculine, you know, not masculine at all. Um, now let's see if we can get the water. <laughs> yeah, what? Whoops. And I, I've looked a little bit into this, this because I thought, I thought this is interesting. Why are so, why are there so many clearly feminized men in cities, well, in these big cities? Um, and I think it has to do with, um, you know, in cities, women they don't really need men in a way, uh, and. Also, you have a lot of rules and restrictions. I made a joke, I said, down there somewhere, and I said, I, my opinion is that no man should live in a place where he can't urinate wherever he wants to. So if you're in a place and you can't urinate wherever you want to, you need to move. <laughs> But there are so many rules and restrictions. You can't go this way. You can't go that way. Uh, you must fall in line here. And you must... Uh, I had a hard time adjusting. And I feel living in a place with so many boundaries is not healthy. And I think the more boundaries you have, the more rules and restrictions you have the less likely you are to develop your your manhood because being a man is a lot about freedom, independence and self-sufficiency. You will sit next to people on a train and they're 
whole body will touch you, like their leg, their shoulder, their arm. And for me that's not natural. And also uh, in those big cities there, I found a total lack of trust. So when you have a high degree of trust, you will have a very high, a very efficient society. You will have, uh, yeah, things go smoother, you know, and you feel safer. Just before, I, in, just now, uh, a woman was walking past here, <laughs> and she said hello to the camera. And that wouldn't happen in a city. Uh, it's uh, it's like uh, I was filming one shot for this video at the train station in Frankfurt and by then I had realized that meant a high risk of my camera being stolen by someone just running past and grabbing the camera. I, I'm kind of glad I don't live in a big city. No, I'm very glad I don't live in a big city. And um, yeah, what can I say? It felt very good to get back home and uh, we hear a lot about globalization. I think what that means, that word, is getting more people to live in the big cities. And I don't think it's uh, wise. I think it's very unwise actually. Uh, I think it will um, make men, especially men, unhappy and feminized. I think it will make uh, women um, as unhappy, actually, and it will promote a lifestyle where you don't form families, because it, there is less incentive, in a way, to form families. And uh, where should you live? Like, I. I think people in like Frankfurt, they live in tiny, tiny apartments. Uh, forgive me if, if I'm wrong, but everything is so tight. It's so cramped and tight. And, and also people will always get into your comfort, comfort zone. Now, you know, uh, it's like uh, Norwegians, they have, um, if you draw a line around you and, and this is my, don't step inside that line, okay, you know. That's, that's every, every person has this uh, intimate zone around them, a border, if you will. And uh, only like, um, well, obviously your, your wife will, <laughs> um, you have, it's different with your wife, of course, but uh, strangers cannot step inside that zone without you becoming uncomfortable. And I feel people in big cities, they have a much smaller zone around them. And me, I have a large zone around me. And I don't want strangers to step inside that zone. But they did all the time. They did. It was const a constant stream of people walking past and getting into my... Into that zone there. They were too close too close and it was always like in some places especially you know in trains and train stations someone's body body odor that was not very pleasant someone's body odor yeah not nice and uh, I'm glad I'm back home here in the woods um, I can breathe here. And I was going to, I thought, you know, should I make uh, like 10 ways city life uh, destroys your life? Or uh, maybe, uh, yeah, I, but here's my, that, that was my talk. I hope you, I hope you, <laughs> I hope you agree. If, if you agree, let me know. If you disagree, let me know as well in the comment section. I will now sit here in silence and I will enjoy my cup of coffee. And um, yeah, I will enjoy the silence and the sound. There is both silence and here the sound of the campfire. So it's, uh, it's perfect.
perfect. But anyway, thanks for watching and um, if you're new to this channel and uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh, and uh, consider subscribing as well. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.